Cerebral satire contains strong language and thoughts that may offend. If you are easily offended, don't fucking bother listening to it. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Friday, and that means it's Cerebral Satire Day. Welcome to Cerebral Satire, everybody. I'm one of your hosts, Chris, and this is Wayne. Say hello, Wayne. Hello, Wayne. Hello, Wayne. And Ant is another host. He is unfortunately not able to make it this week. He's starting a new job, so he's got to get up rather early. And this he's is not the starting it. You're not listening, what? are you? No, I don't. I don't read anything. He starts at listening. the end of February. This is just his first back day at the back at his old job after <sighs> Christmas. What the fuck? Why the fuck does he care about that job then? Fuck that noise. I yeah, but you don't was, want to feel rough. Do I you thought it was time to. I thought it was time to to start his new job now. I thought he was done. No, he's got the start date, which is like the end of February. That's lame. Which we've told you several times. Like that. Yeah, you have told me that several times now that I remember. Um, anyway, Ant's not here anyway. There was an update on the banana ketchup from last week, though, Wayne, wasn't there? He said it was all right. He said it was no. good. Yeah. He put it on the Facebook page, facebook.com slash cerebral satire, if you guys want to follow us. Um, he said it was good. He said it was really good, actually. He said it was surprisingly good. I wouldn't want it on my sausage rolls. <laughs> oh, is that what he put it on, sausage rolls? It's brown sauce with sausage rolls, not banana. But what's brown sauce? Like, what's brown? Is that like a gravy? I always imagine no, brown. Do you no, guys it's always brown. Brown It's like sauce? literally like ketchup, but brown. But it's more pickly. More. I don't more... really know what brown sauce is. It's, <laughs> it's you don't just know sort what brown of, sauce It's brown is. sauce you have with bacon and pastries, or whatever. <laughs> brown sauce. It's. I bet it's like a type of like. It's supposed to be like the American gravy in the morning. Like, we have gravy and biscuits. No, I'm sure it is. It's, I'm, I'm sure it is. Like Brown have- sauce is a traditional condiment served with food in the United Kingdom and Eilie. Uh, Eilie? Eilie? Ireland. God. Eilie. Oh, Eilie, man. <laughs> going down, going going down south to Eilie. Spicy and tangy. What's it um, made of? Does it say what it's made of? Tomatoes, molasses, dates, apples, tamarind, tamarind spices, tamarind? vinegar. Raisins and anchovies. It's like an all. It's like an throw the whole spice cabinet in the brown sauce, and you got your brown sauce. It's basically vinegar and sauce, really. Vinegar and sauce. So it's like okay, vinegar. Okay, as normal. You guys love vinegar. Oh my god, United Kingdom loves some fucking. Vinegar. You guys went to India, captured vinegar, and said, "This is ours now. This is what we're doing." Is Indian? Uh, vinegar, yeah. Vinegar's from from uh, India. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Anyway, that. so that's what's going on with Ant. Ant. Back to work, and we're recording on Sunday, so he's probably watching NFL, or he's probably in bed or something. Um, he claims he's in bed. I'm pretty sure he's watching NFL. Um, <laughs> yeah, I want to hear some sh- So we got some stories, and then we're going to do... I got some a couple stories we're going to go through, Wayne, uh, and then we're going to do word associations with Wayne. Oh, I love word associations. Yep. So we're going to do some word associations. I, I was thinking about it in the car. I was listening to... Uh, our episode on New Year's, and he was going through Wayne's facts, and I was like, "Well, I can't do Wayne's facts because that's Ant's thing today. What can I do?" And I was like, "Well, let me try some word associations." I didn't, I didn't really want to do the research. You never put that in the rundown. Yeah, I did. It's at the bottom of the rundown. It shows how much I read. Said it. word associations with Wayne. Yes, it does. Um, but we do have two articles from listeners, which is cool, and then we have one that I thought was interesting from um, uh, um. Fuck, Vice. I thought it was uh, Vice.com. I love Vice. So, um, But how was your New Year's, Wayne? I know this is post-New Year's for us, but how was your New Year's? Weird. Why was it weird? Did well, you... I was working till 8 p.m. anyway, so I literally only got home and watched Brian Adams. But a woman died on the bus, not my bus, on what? the New Year's. Oh, on your bus. Not on your bus. Not on my bus, but I obviously threw everything out because Wasn't they had lady? to try and resuscitate her that Got, they were there for over two lots of buses, Wait, so they what? ended up staying, trying to resuscitate, and then everyone had to like jump ship and cover brakes. Wait, and wait, she wait, died. wait, stop! Explain this to me. So, where are you when this happens? You're on your bus. No, I was then going into work and starting, but obviously because oh. that 
kicks a load of shit up and everyone was thrown onto like you'll miss your break there but we'll have to because the driving law get you another break so everyone was yeah. just switching shifts and going crazy all so day you're on that. your way to work you're on the bus going to work no okay. i was just in the car this is you're this basically car. was after i started but you tried to resuscitate her I didn't know. Oh, because you said earlier you were like, I had to resuscitate her or whatever. No, they, that people, the bus drivers tried oh, to resuscitate because gotcha. that was, uh, what was it, the five to six? No, five to seven in the morning bus. Five to seven in the morning. She shit. gets it every day. She's the one that buys the sausage roll as well for the driver, so that's going to be finished now. Oh, that's so, she was old? Yeah, she was seven. A lot of old people die during New Year's. You notice that? Well, her dog died two weeks earlier. Oh, Isn't that that's weird? so sad. Oh, my God. That's so sad. Oh, so my goodness. So, she went to get on the bus, literally just collapsed like a sack of shit. And, um, I'm not going to say driver's name, but he rang, Poor. like, the ambulance up, and they were telling her how, how to do how mouth-to-mouth, mouth-to-mouth resuscitation. He'd done it for 15 minutes. And couldn't get her back. And they got her heart beating minutes? again. Wait, 15 minutes? And, and the ambulance didn't arrive before then? Not that quick over here. She, oh my the whole God. process of trying to resuscitate her lasted 15 minutes. Well, they say you can't last a lot longer than tw- 20, don't they? Because of obviously yeah. lack of oxygen. Ox- yeah, oxygen to the brain. But that's what uh, that's what mouth to mouth does. It, gives, it it provides oxygen to you. Basically, yeah. So and she died 2 p.m. At, later on that day. So that's so sad, dude. That, well, yeah, she's really nice. That's way to start the new show off this year, Wayne. Telling me about it, some old dead old. Lady. Yeah, but I got, a, I got to admit, I laughed when um, he said what the paramedic said when he turned up. What? First thing the paramedic said. So she was on the floor and he was doing mouth to mouth resuscitation. Yeah. They go, car, I reckon she had a heart attack because the bus was on time. <laughs> the actual paramedic said that. <laughs> the actual paramedic said yeah. that? Yeah. Wow, you Rich English people, man! Because the bus is on time. You fucking English people are the fucking best with jokes and most inappropriate circumstances. I suppose that's how they deal with it. Though, it is, it? man. It's how you. It's totally how you just you your group in general. It doesn't matter what the worst thing in the world could happen. You'd be like, eh, you know, at least this is that or whatever. You guys just kind of shrug it off and keep going. Uh, I think it has something to do with you guys have been through so much. You've been around so long. You've seen it all, and you're just like, eh, whatever. And you just keep moving. It's great. Fantastic. That's so why I love the British sense of humor. It's great. How was so, the naked sex hut that you went to? No naked. We couldn't get the hot tub going. So the hot tub was was broken. This We weren't at the same cabin. We were at a different cabin this time because somebody had rented out the cabin we normally go to. Um, and so we were at a different cabin and we could not get the hot tub to heat up. And we couldn't get the pool to heat up either, the heater. So no naked people this year. So it was kind of sad. Um no naked people in general. I didn't even get to see any guys naked. So it was fun. We did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's, a, that's really that's sad. Um, I mean, we, I'm 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 equal opportunity, baby. If I you know if I, if I see some you know female nakedness, why can't they see some male nakedness? I think it's all fair, right? You know? Yeah, for them. Yeah, why were you like, oh, sad? We didn't see any men naked. I didn't say it was sad. I just said we didn't see any people, and then you know, anyway. So, uh, but we did have a good time. We had a really good time. We all hang out it was more like a family thing this year than it was like a party thing we definitely got drunk that's when i lost my voice so i sounded like this uh leaving florence i sounded like this on wednesday afternoon when i left florence i, I um tuesday I, I stay out of work i was too sick i couldn't go to work which is you were that hung out, i was no no tuesday last week all right tuesday last week I was too sick. I could not go to work. And you know that's a that I must have been sick for me to miss work because I never fucking miss work. Um, and then Wednesday I went in for a couple hours. I still wasn't feeling good. Uh, I drove home Wednesday afternoon to Augusta. I stayed there. Um, I was sick on the couch there for the day. And then I got up, took a ton of medicine, felt better, um, drove to drove three hours to the cabin, got there. We played poker, we hung out, we enjoyed each other. I sounded like this there, but you know, we had music playing, we're talking loud over each other, and at the end of the night, I could not. Literally, I was I was laying on the couch. My my other buddy was on another couch, Mac, and we were truck talking to each other. Now, you know, he was I haven't seen him in a while. He's a really good friend of mine. I just wanted to know what was going on with him, and literally at the end of the night, I could not. It was I did not have a voice anymore. I literally did not have a voice anymore. What 
because you were shouting so much. Yeah, because I was shouting so much. Because I, I sound like this, So, but when you're in a crowded room or you're in an area with music, you got to talk louder. So you, you just, I just gradually over the night drinking. So you're already, you're already hoarse then. Yeah, I was, was, correct. I sounded like this from being sick and coughing so much that it just made it worse. And towards the end of the night, I, I, he could not understand me. We were laying on the couches and he couldn't understand me what I was saying. So we just went to bed. I got up the next day, no voice, none, like, n- like whisper of a voice could not get it out. My dumbass. Must have been bliss to be around you. That I know, day. I know, dude. I was so silent the entire day, except for I hadn't taken a shower. I got up. We got up around nine. I got in the car and, and I, you know, kissed everybody bye and I left. Got to go home. I got a five-hour drive home. I got to go home. Um, well, back to Florence. So I drove to Augusta. Didn't say anything, but I drove through a drive-through to get food because I was so hungover. I had to get some food in me and. Uh, the poor, I had to turn my car off and scream <laughs> at the top of my lungs to order my subway subs because subway makes me feel better. That's all the bread and everything. It makes me feel better after I've been drinking. And I, <laughs> I was so, so bad for this girl that was getting my order. She could not understand me, but I got it out. That was a lit. That was it. That was it. The next day, no voice the entire day. None, none, none at all. Um, and I was in I was in Augusta that day, and then yesterday I was in Augusta, uh, and then today I, I drove I drove back to Florence, and this is what I sound like. So sorry guys about the voice. That's that's what it is. Part a mixture of being sick and partying too much, uh, uh, is why I have very little voice left. I'm sure my associates tomorrow when I go back to work and I start screaming at them for doing the wrong things um, will greatly appreciate. You're gonna be like voice. a pathetic little yappy dog. Yeah, tomorrow, pretty much. Yeah, um, I had this cough that sounded like a squeaky toy uh, two days ago. I was coughing. When I was coughing, it was like, <laughs> it was the saddest thing ever. It was so sad. Wayne. Oh, my goodness, dude. Yeah, so when I was texting you guys saying I have no voice, I literally had no voice. Um, I was playing um, uh, Rainbow Six Siege with a friend of mine. I could not talk, so all I did was all I did was keep messaging him. Um, thank God for the new dashboard, the new messaging system, cause it was super easy to get to, but yeah. So I just, I've been quiet for two days. I haven't talked to anybody. I haven't talked at all actually. Um, so I did see, uh, and I know you probably saw in my Facebook post. I did see, um, two movies though, which was kind of cool. I saw, um, uh, uh, mission impossible rogue nation with that hot ass chick. What? What'd you say? Are you fucking crazy? Dude, it is a fucking great movie. That movie is good. That is a good movie. It's not only a good action movie, it's also a great spy movie. You never know what's going to happen in this movie. What crazy corner they're going to turn. Who's who's on what side? What's going on? It's such a good it's a good movie. Simon Pegg's in it. Yep, he is gr- he's he's actually most of it. Um Really? Yeah, you very you see actually uh, he's a lot of that movie. He has he has very important roles in that movie. I think he helped write it. I'm pretty sure. That wouldn't he, surprise me. He's quite yeah. a clever bloke. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he helped write it. He helped write the new Star Star Trek too. Um, uh, and then I watched my buddy convinced me to watch um, Mad Max: The a Fury Road. Oh, the new one! Holy fuck, that movie will change your life. Didn't Ant see it like last year and said how good it was? Yeah, I think he did see it. I, n- I never did get a chance to see it. I was I think I was doing resets or something at the time for work or whatever. But holy fuck, that movie was amazing, Wayne. You have to watch that movie. Do they ride on a buggy thing through the desert? Yeah. Okay. They ride on a lot of different buggy things through the desert. The girls in it are... The girls alone are worth watching it, honestly. They're fucking super hot. All those chicks are super hot in that movie. Is there a man called Max who's a bit mad in it? There is a man called Max. He is a bit mad in it. Yep. I was going to say, they, he, they'd have to be. Otherwise, it's trade description. Charlize Theron's in it. She's smoking hot in it, too. She's missing an arm. She's still hot. She's. I'd still fuck her. Even with the no, thing. you had a problem once. No, with she's an exception. The leg. You said you wouldn't fuck them. She's an exception. She's an exception to my no, my li- my limbless rule, because she's really hot. Mm-hmm. So I, I highly recommend that. It will fucking. It's try to see it on the biggest screen you can possible. I mean, I have a sixty-five inch screen TV, so it's pretty big. But it, Wayne, it is uh, for four. I rented it for four bucks, dude. Four ninety-nine, five bucks. I rented it for five bucks. It was great. It was so good. I oh, I really like that movie. I'm gonna have to buy it because I really, really enjoyed that movie. Um, 
Did you watch anything while we were gone? While you were gone? Uh, I said I just saw no. Brian Adams on New Year's Eve do the New Year's party on BBC. That's about it. So you, you act, but you actually stayed up. You didn't go to bed at nine o'clock. You, you said you were going to. No, I stayed up till about half one in the end. Mm. Wow, well, that's I was a, pumped. That's late for you. you, you yeah. Did you go out? Did Claire go out with you? Did Claire go out? Oh. No. She. Both of you stayed in. Yeah, she oh, does. Good. She does like a little carpet picnic every year. Oh, that's so sweet. And she bought some Prosecco. What is that? Uh, uh, just sparkling wine that she that she tried, the finest one that they were doing tasters of at uh-huh. work. She's like, this is gorgeous. This is lovely. She, <laughs> so got, I poured it. Because she, she, she don't drink at all. Oh, So this is drink? like a really big thing. So she was like, oh, uh, this is lovely. I tried a little bit of work. Uh, had one sip, didn't she? Uh, oh, yeah. she didn't I like didn't it remember anymore. it tasting like that. <laughs> so I had the whole bottle. So it was sparkling wine? Yeah. It's not bad. Sparkling wine's not bad. I do prefer champagne, though, over sparkling wine. Why did you just buy a bottle of eight, champagne? This was eight pound for a bottle. That's not bad. That's not you bad. Know, my, that's, my that's bottle of wine. class sparkling wine, but yeah, she was proper like, she, that was her masterpiece of the thingy. She was like, <laughs> oh, I got some of this, uh, it's finest, blah, blah, blah. And, um, which is a Tesco line. That's what, you know, they're up around. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, of course. So she was all you know, uh, and then that's just so brilliant. She took one sip and went, oh, it's not how I remembered it. <laughs> so she, you drank the whole thing by yourself. I think she tasted something else. You're such a drunk. Oh, my. Didn't you feel bad drinking the whole thing by yourself? Sorry for that. It went flat. <laughs> that's true. That's true. I've also... If, if sparkling wine turn, goes flat, does it just become wine? No, it becomes gross. The carbonation not in the wine is disgusting. Like, it's like, it's like watered down wine, essentially, because the carbonation will turn into... Um, Water essentially, and it's gross. It's just like watered down. It's like l- like light wine. It's not good. Trust me, it's not good. Why does it cost so much? And good stuff. Good stuff. Good champagne or good sparkling wine. Well, both. Good both champ. Both good champagne easy. costs costs so much normally because it's old. It's been aged. I hate anyone that thinks that expensive expensive sparkling wine is all champagne. It's not. It has to come from that region of France. Yeah. No something. wine. Yeah. No sparkling wine and champagne are completely different. People. Some people think they're the same thing. Yeah, oh, like, no. look, if they see like expensive sparkling wine, they'll they'll call that champagne regardless, and that like, mm. bloody annoys me. It's like, oh, what else that's is there so like that? True. A bit like Cornish pasties. No, they have to come mm, in Cornwall. So, uh, with the with your picnic that happened, which was so sweet, that's the sweetest thing I've ever heard you guys does do. Every year, I actually said, uh, "Do you want me to take you out to the coast, and we'll see New Year's in oh. on the coast overlook?" She went, "No, I want to do the picnic because that's that what we always so do." So sweet, Wayne. Seriously, that you should you should take a picture of that. So you guys move like the coffee table out of the way, and you set up like a little thing on the floor, and you have like a. Oh no, we have tables. Oh, you do use tables. Yeah. Yeah. Because I can't bother to bend. One of my one of my favorite moves is to have a is to cook and have a picnic in the in the living room while you're watching a movie. It's one of my. Don't have a barbecue because that's dangerous. No, no, not barbecue. But yeah, you cook and you have a like a little picnic wine. You set up some some candles in the middle of it, and oh man, it makes them so hot. It's great. It normally I always get laid from that move. It's great. It's a fantastic move. I was about to say that sounded like a sexual thing. It is. That makes me so hot. It is. It is a very sexual thing. It's a very sexual thing. I um I use it a, I use it quite a bit actually. I've used it a couple of times to get laid. And you gonna move into our uh, first story now? We're done talking about fucking New Year's and shit. Yeah, I need to get that image out of my head. <laughs> what me getting laid or? Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say last time we talked, and I showed your ass, so you know what it looks like for me getting laid. <laughs> You still don't believe me. You got your dick out. You did. I one. didn't. I don't know. You must have been wanking. I don't, you remember. don't remember. I don't remember that at all. Anyway, let's. Speaking of dicks and vaginas, let's go into our first story from Cody. Here we go. From my heart and from my hand, why don't people understand my intention? Oh yeah, perfect timing too in the music video. They're showing um, what's her name, 
I forgot her name. Kim is it is that Kim Cattrall? No, it's not Kim Cattrall. I forgot her name. Fuck. I'm gonna get yelled at on Twitter about that. Um, yes, Wayne. Weird science, and this is legit weird science too. This is perfect for the weird science thing. So this is from. I want to do a couple of listener. Um, recommended stories and i picked two of them and one's from cody and this one's from cody um he listens and he sent us this an email so if you guys want to email us send us some stuff it's um cerebral satire at gmail.com or you can do it on the facebook page or you can do it on twitter whichever one you want hashtag c satire on twitter and we'll see it and we, if we like it we'll use it i like this one so we're going to use this one this is perfect to talk about wayne with because um wayne wants to buy a flashlight and this might be the replacement for the <laughs> flashlight wayne Doctors implant lab-grown vagina, sir. Doctors implant lab-grown vagina. This is from BBC News, man. This is a legit news source. Four women have had new vaginas grown in a laboratory and implanted by doctors in the U.S. A tissue sample and biodegradable scaffold were used to grow vaginas in the right size and shape for each woman as well as being a tissue match. They all reported normal levels of desire arousal, lubrication, orgasm, and satisfaction, and painless intercourse. Experts say the study published in The Lancet was the latest example of power of regenerative medicine. Wayne, how do you feel about this regenerative medicine stuff, man? It's just weird. Why is it weird? The regenerative medicine or the 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 vagina? vagina. I've just got this image of like a a little palate with a, a... vagina just yeah. just a vagina no that's exactly what it is i mean essentially you're looking at like a little beaker thing and it's got a vagina inside of it and then they took the tissue and transported it to the woman and tied it to the woman and it and it took the the um the thing took what, so what i mean so what's regenerative uh, medicine what like okay, so, bits and then yeah them back yeah so like if i like i have a piece missing out of my thumb right i cut yeah. it off yeah i do i have a piece missing out of my well it's not really missing anymore it's kind of a little bit regrown but whatever um uh, I cut a piece of my thumb off uh, in shop class when I was in high school. Silly. So yeah, don't don't even get me started. I was checking a blade and somebody turned the fucking machine on. Idiot. Um. Anyway, <laughs> so so <laughs> that simply happened to me. It's like we were doing sewing, like sewing machines, and, somebody and turned the someone machine was off. helping me of mine, and I set it off. And- <laughs> <laughs> I didn't set it off. They turned the machine on while I was checking the blade needed to be replaced, and I was checking it because it had to, anyway. Long story short, I'm missing a piece in my thumb. <laughs> so they could actually either grow the piece that I'm missing or regrow me a new thumb and make me whole again. So, like, what? how do you feel about that? Do you feel like we should be going into this? I mean, you could essentially... Why not? It's not breaking ethics, but, is it? But when you get older, you could essentially grow a new heart and just replace your heart and just live forever. You can just be bits and pieces, and eventually you won't be yourself. The you didn't think about that, whatever, did you? man, that'd be awesome. You didn't think about that, did you? I mean, eventually, right? I mean, eventually, let's say your, you know, your ear, something happens to your ear, your new ear, okay? So you got a new ear. Yeah, something but you could easily get rid of that by just making a new law saying if it's just general worn out, then that's not getting replaced. But if it's diseased, then yeah, done. So general oh. worn out, you can't get a new one. So, but why are you to dictate that to somebody? Because you can't have the whole world like with everyone living forever because we run out of space. Really? Of course you would. Come on. No, eventually, I think we're going to get to the point where we don't die. I think eventually. Seriously, like maybe God, that they a clusterfuck. Maybe like two hundred, three hundred years from now. I mean, eventually, we're going to get to the point. Either we we do this, like we replace all the p- bits and pieces, and just you know, you go in, it's just like your car. You go in for. A thousand mile checkup, and then you get a new liver, or you get a yeah, new lung, cars or you can't get a new... even live forever. No, but I mean, if you replace everything on a car, technically it's a new car, but you still, I mean, cars can live forever. Yeah, you can replace the engine, your heart. You can replace the uh, the the filters, your lungs. You can, re- I mean, eventually you can replace everything on a car, and it will it will go on forever. Think about yeah, it. Sounds like we don't do we. Yeah, some people do. Some people do. There are, there are cars that... A Model T's are around right now because they've replaced all the parts on them. Hmm. I feel fortunate. In each woman, the vagina did not form properly while they were still inside their mother's womb, a condition known as vaginal asplasia. Current aplasia, treatments... Aplasia, where was the S at the start? Come on, man. Aplasia. Current treatments can involve surgical surgically creating a... Ca- uh, uh, 
cavity. I know what that word is. I was, jo- <laughs> I was joking because it's so gross. Current treatments can involve surgically creating a cavity, which is then lined with uh. skin grafts of parts of the intestine. Oh, oh, oh. Doctors at Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center in North Carolina used pioneering technology to build vaginas for the four women who were all in their teenage years at the time. Scans of the pelvic region were used to design a tube-like 3D scaffolding for each pa- patient. A small tissue biopsy was taken from the poorly developed vulva and grown to create a large batch of cells in the laboratory. Muscle cells were attached to the outside of the scaffold and the vagina lining cells to the inside. Vaginas were carefully grown in a bioreactor until they were suitable to be surgically implanted into the patients. One of the women with the implanted vagina, who wished to keep her name anonymous, said, I believe in the beginning, when you find out, you feel different. I mean, while you are living in the process, you are seeing the possibilities you can have, all the changes you'll go through. Truly, I feel very fortunate because I have a normal life, completely normal. Although there is an important thing, Wayne. All women reported normal sexual function. Vagina aplasty can lead to abnormalities in the reproductive organs. But in two of the women, vaginas... Um, was connected to the uterus. There have been no pregnancies, but for those women in the theoretical possib- are in the theoretical possibility. There's actually a picture of the scaffold in place in the incubator. It looks like tissue. It just oh. looks like yeah, yeah, exactly. It looks like a spider web. Uh, yeah, like mold or something. Um, Doctor Atalia, uh, Atalia, director of the Institute of for Regenerative Medicine at Wake Forest, told BBC News website. Really, for the first time, we've created a whole organ that was never there to start with. It was a challenge. He said a functioning vagina was very important thing for these women's lives and witnessing a difference it made for them was very rewarding to see. Uh, this is the first time the results have been reported. However, the first implants took place eight years ago. Wow, eight years ago. So... This is, they're saying this is the first steps uh, and first in human experience, such as those reported here, are they're used to routine clinical care to remain many, including large trials with long-term follow-up, the development of clinical-grade processing, scale-out, and commercialization. See, they're talking about replacing body parts, dude. That is awesome. I've got a very funny joke. What? not that funny well, of course you know that right. this is taken from graphs of the intestine yeah no 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 this Did is taken set up? no yes they had the, their original way to fix their vaginas was to take from grafts from the intestines and then they went to this wake forest place and the wake forest place actually grew them from grafts from the inside of their vaginas oh, and then they do it the I joke doesn't, say, uh, joke doesn't like, apply even now it's a new vagina it'd still be shagging them up the ass <laughs> It's actually funny. So, Wayne, should should we be doing this? Should we really be doing this? Yeah, if like that, yeah. If like that, but what? I mean, what's the difference between doing that and replacing a liver that you've grown? I mean, eventually we're going to get to the point where you're going to have parts on standby. They said they, com- make, they make judgment on organs for like if you've abused livers and yeah. whatever, you don't get a new one. Why? Why? They should do it like this. Why if it's not? just old age, then you oh. should just go. Fuck that. No. They're saying it, dude. Scale out and commercialization. You can't have everyone live up for what you can't have everyone live forever, can you? Yes, the world you can. Will run out of space. Sorry, it's the way it is. It's, it's, it's God, we're running out of space. It is with fucking immigration, so- let alone adding to it. So why are you the one to choose? Who are you the one to choose? Who's the one to choose that gets body parts and who doesn't, and why they get body parts and who doesn't? The organ committee. The organ committee. Yeah. Now, do I have to vote these people in? No, you just pay the hospital some money, and then just, you and then they the hospital. There. So yeah. the, the hospital chooses. I don't agree with this. I didn't. But if I don't vote them in, I don't agree. I want to be able to vote them in. All right, vote them in then. I don't care. <laughs> I just want a group called the Organ Committee. Don't you want a bunch of body parts on hold for you so you don't die? Do you want to die? What about if I have enough money? Can I have an extra hand? Well, no. That's ooh. ooh. Can you modify your body? Can you pimp oh, my ride? I like that idea. I like you could put a hand right above your butt so you could wipe with that hand only. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> it's not, well, you not can put some thing. nose cells into your penis so after you're done pissing, that sniffs the wee back up. <laughs> what? Instead of splodging down your pants. <laughs> oh, does it say the drip drops? <laughs> yeah, you can just go done. I don't know what you were talking about? No, I like the hand idea. 
um, right above your butt so you can wipe with that hand. Uh, what else could we do? Uh, I'm thinking boobs. I really want boobs, but I don't want fake boobs. I want real boobs. I'll stop things. <laughs> <laughs> but I want, yeah, I want, ch- I want chick boobs. I want a chick's boobs. I want like um. I can shave. I want like I want a chick boob. I want chick. I want somebody's boobs. Somebody else's boobs, not mine. Oh, what if you mix body parts? Like if you, like if you hire a doctor and be like, could I get Kimberly Kane's vagina put on this? Put on um. What if you switch your bo- What if you switch your wife's body parts out for somebody else's? Wow. Like you, like you can get Kimberly Kane's vagina put on Claire. Wouldn't go down that well though if you went up to your wife and said, "Can I have so and so's from work?" No, no. I mean, no, let's no, no. You just ma- no, you just make her pass out, and then she wakes up with a new vagina, and you're like, "Guess what, baby? You have a new vagina. It's great. It's fantastic. look at it. It's great. I want to fuck it. Can I fuck it? Can I fuck it? Can I fuck it?" See, I think that vagina is much the same in any woman. I'd go for different bits before then. Like what? Breasts. Stomach's a big thing for me. So you want to replace, well, I don't, it's replacing a stomach. That's not really like skin. You can replace skin, but re, that's not a body part. All right, buttocks then. Uh, that's a body part. You can do that. You can probably grow a butt. Probably grow a butt. Yeah. So you want to replace whose butt with Claire's butt? Anyone's butt. She's got quite a weird shaped butt. Why does she have a weird shaped butt? What? I don't know. She's got fat thighs, but they're not fat, but they're sort of like muscly man's thighs. She's got wide hips. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I get that. She's got birthing hips. Shame that will never happen. That's what they—that's what they call them. Birthing I thought hips. I'd get that in though. I can tell. So, anybody else? <laughs> would you like to change a butt? Like, would you like to make your? Would you like in the middle of your hand? Would you like a vagina to be there? Surely, mm. dick could go through your whole hand yeah. and the other end. Yeah, absolutely. How will what you, do you wash think? your face in the morning? The water would go through. Well, I mean, you'd have to keep a glove on it, so you you know shake people's hands that you don't want them touching your vagina. That's stupid. You don't like that? I don't like that at all. Mm-hmm. Dick oh. hand. No, clunge hand. <laughs> clunge vagina, <laughs> pussy hand, cunt hand. <laughs> what there must be you... another place you could... There what? isn't really, is there? No, well, okay, well, what if you could... Where put... else could you put a vagina on your body? On your wife's head. If she won't blow you, at least you could fuck her head. Uh, no. What if you put a vagina on her back? That'd be in the brain. <laughs> be in the brain. No, you can find a way to like you know slide it. You know, have a little tunnel go somewhere else other than. No, uh, that's only really the the, the mouth that is. Oh, what are we this. even talking about? What's Stuart fucking conversation? <laughs> you want to you want to move on to something else? <laughs> yeah, fucking. Uh, actually insane. Hey, fucking you guys, send us your brain. send us your ideas for different body parts that you can replace or that you would like to change or anything like that. Like, what would you like your? Would you want a different dick? Would you want a different hand? Would you want different eyes? Would you want different nose? Like, if you could really replace it with real body parts instead of plastic surgery, which, which everyone knows looks like shit, what would you replace? Can they actually make erect penises bigger? Yeah. Now? No, no, no penis not now. enlargement only does flat. Yeah, no, not now. Now you can't. Right now you can't. I mean, they, they fuck up penises, essentially, is what happens when you try to make your penis bigger. But you can get your penis replaced with somebody else's. So like, Whose penis would you have? Uh, Toy Rhodes. Dean. No, I don't want black. It doesn't. Why would you get a black dick on a white, white male? You could be Zedbra. <laughs> you, I'll get different parts. You can have like your hands black and your body's going to be black, but your arms will be white and your legs will be white. <laughs> but your feet will be black too. That's good. <laughs> That's fantastic. I like that. You could be Zebra. I like that. Um, I would like like, um, uh, what's that guy? Uh, Dean. Uh, fuck that porn star guys. I like his dick. He's a good dick. Uh, Dean something. I can't remember his name. Anyway, he's a famous porn star. I like him. He's got a nice big fucking dick. I'd like to replace mine with his. Not that I don't like mine. Just it could be better. It could be better. It could always be better. What about you? You want to replace your dick with somebody else's? Possibly. Who's I've got like an Asian man style penis? <laughs> you have a small penis like that. Yeah. Little nub penis. <laughs> they know what to do though, don't they? Bless her. Who? Asians. They do? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't watch Asian porn. You have to ask Anne about that, I guess. <laughs> I don't mind a bit of Asian porn. I just don't like the senses. Oh, yeah, the sense. Yeah, that's why I don't like Asian porn. That's, that's why I don't like it. All right, let's move on to something else. Speaking <laughs> about men dick, let's move on uh, to the next one. Here we go. Been down there on the floor No one's ever gonna keep me 
god, I'm gonna hear so much shit about that fucking song later. <laughs> it's gonna fucking uh, I anyway. Don't like country. That's not that's not country. That's uh, 70s. What the disco. fuck is that? Sound like shit disco. kicking to me. <laughs> it was disco. It was disco. 70s disco. The woman who thinks <laughs> reducing. Really? Yeah, that was disco. That was Helen Helen Rogers. Her name was right. Helen Some Helen Redley. Kicking. Helen Reddy. Uh, yeah. Uh, 1975. I am woman. Hear me roar. Disco. Um, the woman who thinks reducing the male population by 90 percent will solve everything. So there's a woman. Uh, at the time, she was a 22-year-old criminologist student with a three-year-old. One angry day in 2012, she took to the internet to outline the brutal concept of International Castration Day. After posting it on YouTube, she stepped out for coffee. Returning home a few hours later, she found that uh, all the ganache male hell had broken loose. So this is from Vice.com, like I said earlier. So what happens is that um, this this Vice person interviewed her um, for the uh, the article and i'm going to read some of the questions but not all of them um she's pretty serious about this she she kind of changed her mind a little bit in between now and and then but she's writing a 700 page manifesto outlining the philosophy of feminism and is intentively titled the ratio so she believes now wayne i want to ask you a question do you think before we even get into this do you think that all problems in the world today are caused by men. No. Okay. Can you give me your reasoning? Because everyone can be an asshole. Okay. Everyone can be an asshole. But do you really yeah. believe that women are overly responsible for the way the world is right now? Women are overly responsible. No, everyone is. Everyone is. Okay. So you're you're equal blaming everybody. Yeah. I disagree. I think men have fucked up this world pretty bad. I really, I really do. I don't think we should be castrated, but I do believe that it might be time for like half of us to step aside and let women replace us and do a better job. Um, think about it. How often do you hear about women doing a mass murder? Silence. Shut up. Si- I'm right though. I'm right. How often? They fucking kill people. I didn't say they didn't kill people. They're more fucking spiteful. I they love di- it one on one. I didn't say they didn't kill people. I said mass murder. Mass How- murder. It is very, very fucking rare, like one in like 10,000 or some shit, that women do a mass murder. Okay. How many men screw up the law by crying uh, rape <laughs> and folks crying rape? There we go. Um, I don't know about that. That's more women, isn't it? That's probably, the ratio on that one is probably more towards women. You're right about that. All right. Um, how many women make laws? Make laws. laws. Oh, laws. sorry. I thought you said laws. make laws. No, so I was laws. Like, they're probably not very good at the stock market. Laws. L-A-W-S. I don't know. It's probably getting more equal these days. It's getting more equal, but it's not even close, to be honest with you. It's probably less than 10%. you got to let them in gradually. You can't just give them the power <laughs> straight away. Yeah. How many, how many, how many women run um, companies? Quite a few now. No. 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 It's probably still less than 5%. There you go. 5%. <laughs> Um, I'm, 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 I'm not with her again. I'm not saying reducing Sounds like them. You fucking I'm are. not, I'm not, I'm not saying reducing the also, male population. Also, she keeps saying she fucking hate men, but she's obviously shagged one because she's got a kid. Yeah, she shagged one. I'm not saying reducing the male population by 90% will solve everything. I am saying that we did fuck this world up pretty bad is what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Men have fucked this world up pretty bad. Um, how, how much do you think Ant's going to yell at me next week about this? Um, article. So he should. Yeah. Okay. Um, assume it, this is the, the vice interviewer. Assuming the ratio refers to your belief, the male population should be reduced to between um, by ninety percent. This is what she said. I believe that conventionally equality with a fifty-fifty female to male ratio is an inferior system. Essentially, my idea is to lead men being a made a special class a far more valuable class having choice of a myriad of women due to the difference in sex ratio that is my intention men will be made more valuable and their quality of life will be dramatically improved they would be a subsidized existence if you will akin to going on an all expenses paid vacation that lasts from birth to death so what she's saying is that if the male population is reduced by ni- to 10%, if the male population is reduced to 10%, men would be treated, um, the last 10% would be treated essentially like uh, 
breeders or kings or I mean, that's what happens. Sex right? slaves. No, no, not sex slaves because you know she's still she's not saying that rape would take place. But although it, it it's, for me it was, uh, it would take place. But it she's would. definitely it would to absolutely yeah you'd be forced to have sex. Um, as a man, you would be forced to have sex because you know women want to whatever. But here's the next question: Assuming people are down for that, how could you reduce the male population that much? Are you talking about culling or selective breeding over the years? She said, obviously, men comprise a substantial portion of the victims of violent crime and participate heavily in war. So there will always be deaths there, but certainly not culling. I don't advocate so selective she's slaughter or brutal then processes. then there'll be less war if we cut men out. Correct. She's saying there'd be less war. You don't war. think women would then start dictating and doing everything gradually? When put in that same position in power as men, their power wouldn't go to their heads and they'd do exactly the same. I don't think so. No, they'd all just go and have a cake sale, wouldn't they? No, (laughs) no. I don't think that's the case either. I just don't think that if women were in charge of the world, I don't think they would have that many wars. I'm going to be honest. I don't think so. I just don't think so. It's not a woman. It's not a woman generated thing. It's women are not naturally aggressive that's the that's that's what's great about women they're not naturally aggressive men are naturally aggressive testosterone the way we're brought up the way we're looked at upon as men no they're bitchy i'm not denying any of their faults wayne i'm not denying any of their faults but they are less likely towards violence than men imagine if they own countries they'd like disown like bits of the continent wouldn't they (laughs) i'm not talking to you this year (laughs) screw belgium he looked at my man (laughs) Um, so she didn't give us an answer of how she would call the call the herd as far as men concerned. So here, here, um, this is how she would she would do it. Further research into designer babies will be necessary. Manipulating gender or sex, prenatal sex dis, um, discernment, sex selective abortions, development due to female pronology, babies created from two mothers, and numerous other mechanisms will be utilized in order to achieve this. Uh, these aspirations. They won't be enforced or mandated to achieve the goal in short term, but merely heavily encouraged in the early stages. Unless um, one opposes abortion, there's little ethical reason to find that, that too outrageous of, a, of a, a proposition. The mass have already been done on all the genetic and population sustainment related issues. Population bottleneck, inbreeding, mutations, etc., etc., etc. Everything works out in favor of my ideas. I've been meticulous and cautious. Um, I've had the work reviewed by people who are experts or at least extremely knowledgeable in biology and genetics, and I've received confirmation that it all works out. So she's saying not killing, don't kill all the men right now. She's saying over the years, selective breeding and selective abortion and changing uh, baby's gender in the womb um, would help um, decrease the male population in general. So, what do you think about that, Wayne? Oh, look, she's nice, isn't she? I thought she was going to just <laughs> literally put us all down. A fucking animal at a zoo. <laughs> um, and then she goes into a theory about practice, female and male classroom homes. What kind what of about men... hermaphrodites? Uh, I don't know. Let's see if it asks about that. Would they, would they um, survive her? Or would, you know? well, here's, here's the breeding. Um, what kind of men would you choose for breeding? Do you... Uh, base selection on physical or mental characteristics. She said, the most suitable men would simply be those who are fit in body and mind. Um, This is also related to genetic modification. Genetic engineering is already taking place by the way of its test given to couples when they're married to prevent and pass the dangerous genetic material. There's no doubt such concepts will expand as we understand more about the genome actually works. Healthy and fit men will always be ideal, but not brutes. So... We're safe. Uh, I don't know about Ant. Which has more to do with mental attributes than physical. Yep, so Ant Ant wouldn't make it. Ant Ant wouldn't make it in the new the new the new uh, world. Anyone that can lift weights, um, any criteria decision upon as the quintessential grade would have to be extensively defined and revisited as time goes on. Or as science advances and the human species um, needs it's evolved. Um, so, and then, and then they go into asking her, I'm going to go right into this one. Would men be kept in isolation like studded horses? I believe we must remove men from the community and oh, place them sake. in their own specific sections of society akin to subsidized or state funded reservations so they can be redefined. We can make, we can make 
not only men safer, but women as well. By subsidizing said reservations through the state, we can provide men with activities, health care, entertainment, shelter, protection, and everything that one could ever require in life. This will be removed conventional inequality from society by reducing the number of men to 10% of the total population. Their so- social bo- bio value will, uh, will be raised. They will live out their lives happy and safe, safely, and a male deposit, <laughs> depository will be the thing of the past. What's the difference between what she wants and what Hitler wanted? Um, Hitler wanted a certain um, genetic... He blue eyes and whatever, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, he wanted so to do that. what's the difference between that and she wants all women? Um, she doesn't want to kill all the men to get there. She just wants to breathe them out, essentially. Brilliant. So yes, there's the killing aspect. Well, of it. The, I mean, the, the he grand did kill. scheme, the end product. <laughs> what is the difference? He did kill, a, you know, close to a billion people. Is all yeah, I'm but saying. What is the end product difference? <laughs> not talking about how to get there. What is the difference? Um. Well, she's not talking about a specific breed of people. She's she's still saying black people, white people doesn't matter. No, she's basing she's it just on doing gender. half the fucking world yes. same sex. <laughs> Touche, my friend. Touche. So, what she's saying is that all to answers of us being raped and everything, when we're the ten percent left, she's saying she'd put us in these state-run facilities or state-run areas of reservations, giving us entertainment, a shelter, and protection, and everything that one could require in life, and we would be fine. And then, you know, this is why I hate fucking feminists as well. They want so much. You know, they're so. I don't know. They want try and get back from all the years that was unfair to now they want to get that back and have so much equality and oh so you're saying unfair. yeah so you're saying the pendulum has swung too f- well she's but swing- it hasn't swung yeah. because we've got common sense well and she's makes it fair. yeah you're saying she's swinging the pendulum too far the other way she wants it too far the other yeah. way yeah but all right so here's the other question that you asked but don't men have value beyond breeding if technology has not advanced to a point where uh, labor can be done without men, the few men that are necessary Brilliant. for said labor can be allowed to work on the outside of their reservations. To Will be allowed whatever, to work. Whatever task they us. They wish. <laughs> and then Vice goes, like slaves? And she says, not as slaves, simply as workers performing a duty. In the same way workers do today, only without the need for monetary reimbursement, as they would have no need for such a thing. This would be highly monitored and regulated. So they won't even be paid. <laughs> they won't be paid. They won't be paid. What about the ambitions of individual? Of individuals, some men may aspire to be more than luxury breeding pens. Some would argue it, but it would be a dystopian world <laughs> because it would be free in the present conventional sense. However, that is misguided. It will be a utopia because it will be a world almost without conflict where people cooperate and are treated properly within a well-engineered and long-forged system. If everything is great for almost everyone, the point is no. Survival and socio-organic well-being are the most important elements in life. Diversity of principles and standards is only necessary in a world of multiple nations, cultures, societies, and religions due to fear of oppression. So how is this world any better? Because some people have potential opportunities to do certain things. So she's saying, which I think she has a good point. Right now, we're doing the same thing. Like a lot of those, a lot of those things are being done in other countries because of the multiple nations, cultures, societies, and religions. Doing what? The same thing that she's talking about. Like yeah. women in women in Saudi Arabia can't drive. All they all they are is baby factories. Some women in some Christian cults are all they are is baby factories as well. She's just she's so saying, other countries are doing it already. Does that make it right then? No, she's not saying it's right. She's just saying that she's making it all even at this point. Nothing. The whole world's gonna be one world. It's not gonna be fighting over religion. It's not gonna be fighting over societies, cultures, or multiple nations. It's just gonna be one world. Simply fighting over religion. No, no, she's she's eliminating. Oh, that. she wants to take away religion and well, everything re- as well. A now, relig- so she- re- religion is religion is man built. Physically, it's man built. Man wrote all the books for for religion. So she's not just. See, I think getting rid of religion would cut down a lot of the troubles in the world. Well, yeah, we that's know nothing that. to do with fucking getting rid of men, is it? Well, technically, men do run all, men do run all the religions. Now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, they do. They run all the religions. 
Yeah, but it's not then the men that is the issue. It's religions then, is it? Well, no, it's men running if the religion. If you're going to say men are responsible for everything in the world and getting rid of them, we'll get rid of trouble, yeah. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. If men run the religion, isn't the religion being used to harm people? Therefore, men are the ones that are harming people. But you're changing. This is bullshit. <laughs> this is just saying, right, we're going to change all cultures, everything to this. Yeah, yeah, that's what she's saying. She's saying it's all going to change. Well, then everyone will get on like a fucking episode of the Waltons, won't yeah, they? Yeah, exactly. That's what she's saying. Why get rid of the men then? Just fucking get rid of everything else that's the issues. Right. That's kind of depressing, isn't it, Wayne? The purpose of living is merely to persist and perpetual our species. If someone is willing to give you all that you require to survive and live comfortably simply because you exist, then you have already achieved all that truly matters. So she's saying she's taking care of everything, therefore all you have to do is live. You don't have to argue. You don't have to do anything like that. Just, yeah, it's all done for you. <laughs> Let's see what she'd do with children, then. You want to see what she'd do with children? Yeah, the next um, one. That's the next one? Yeah. Uh, what kind of purpose as alternatives? Children mm -hmm. should be... Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. What do you propose as alternatives? Children should be raised communally and by the state. Oh, my... <laughs> the nuclear family model is a breeding ground of <laughs> deceptions, mediocrities and treacheries, hypocrisy and violence. It needs to be abolished. Bigotry, prejudice, and... Antiquated conventions are passed down through each generation. The conventional family unit indoctrinates our youth and drains them of their potential. My solution would be to assign children caretakers who tasked with simply to be provide <laughs> shelter, food, clothing, and protection for each child, all of which would be yielded by the state. Perfect girls will be conceived, developed, and engineered in state-owned breeding centers. They will be bound together in a communal venue under the instruction and control of female savants. So she's getting rid of families as well. Yep, she's getting rid of families, which I think, I think she has a good point. Bigotry, prejudice, and antiquated... I mean, it's all, it's all done through families. If your family um, tends to be a bigot, if, you're in the K, if your family's part of the KKK, guess what you're probably going to end up being in? The KKK. Because all of a sudden you don't like black people because your daddy didn't like black people. If you are raised in a Christian household, you're more likely to be Christian. If you're raised in a Muslim household, you're more likely to be Muslim. It's not because you were born that way. It's because your family's like that. She has a point. Although I don't know about the whole breeding and <laughs> solution. Food, shelter, there will be in a communal venue. No, no family, no love. No, doesn't sound, doesn't sound very good. No, so, it sounds like you're taking away what makes us human. It does sound very cold, doesn't it? Sounds very cold and 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 it's not good. Um, Business like and Well, what does she think about sexual orientation can be designed? Absolutely. I believe sexual orientation like most, but not all things comes from socialization, which is Oh, as well as genetics. With a heavier influence from genetics, anyone who contends that sexual orientation is purely genetic is either disingenuous or foolish. Eventually, we will be able to engineer people to a greater preference for their own sex. It seems to me that a lot of women are far more open to homosexuality than men, or at least are more willing to experiment, and why is that? Oh, she's got a point got to put cock in the mouth. Because <laughs> cock is bad. All right, well, that's about it, Wayne. What, um, <laughs> what do you think about this chick? By the way, this chick does look crazy. If you look at her, she looks fucking nuts. She won't be fucking locked up in a rubber padded cell for her own <laughs> Honestly, I, she wants to make a sci-fi film from fucking... She like, does. It's like, um, oh, uh, THX, right? Yeah, THX. Fucking set stupidly far in the future, but in where the men were... I, oh, fuck it. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Well, I do know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, where the men were almost extinct and now are used for breeding, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just get the image of men like in a field eating grass like cows. <laughs> don't forget about the fucking you brought into the barn to fuck and create yeah. livestock <laughs> they're probably not they, I, her men that she ideally want can't even fucking speak they just sort of make noises and Pretty much. Oh, I fuck you no no remember she doesn't she wants to get rid of the brutes so it'd be, it'd be more like people like me and you nerdy guys smart nerdy guys Damn. hello there <laughs> it's not so bad now, does it? It's time for my reproduction day of the week. <laughs> you get fed? You get a new vagina every day? Sounds pretty good to me. I'm now going to go to work where I'm not going to be paid. I'm not saying that she has the best idea in the entire world. Okay, that's not my point. My point is men cause a lot of the problems on the planet and have been causing a lot of the problems on the planet since the beginning because we were stronger, 
we are stronger than women. So we took over. I still think if you put women in those positions and they'll just form the same traits. I disagree with that. Just because women are less likely to violence than men. I disagree. I just disagree. I'm going to try to find some statistics for next week about um, women and violence and see see if um, Ant and you agree with the stuff that I find. And then we'll move on from there. But let us know what you guys think on the Facebook page about this. I posted this a couple days ago. It's uh, men's population should be reduced by 90%. It's from vice.com. I put it up there and I said she had some pretty decent ideas because I don't know about all her ideas, but I do think that she has a couple of points where men have caused a lot of problems on this planet. She's got a point that if you have the same demographic of people, then they'll go get along better than different demographics. That's yeah, true. but that's common sense. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And not reasonable. That's never going to happen. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, idiot. let's let's move on to something else that maybe Wayne can laugh at instead of get irritated by. Here we go. This is the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. This is Goldilocks. Hello, Goldilocks. And this is her mum. Stay in the garden, Goldilocks, says her mum. Okay, says Goldilocks. Where are you going, Goldilocks? Oh, Goldilocks. She goes out of the garden and into the forest. Goldilocks likes the forest. Wayne, why are we talking about Goldilocks and the three bears, my man? She likes the forest. She likes She's the forest. Bushy. Oh, yeah. Man breaks into BC home. Showers. Shit shave showers. Feeds cats. Writes in diary. Starts the fire. This Caught is, watching TV. This is from another listener, all wine aside, ladies. They sent us this story. Caught watching TV. All right, Wayne, explain to me why this guy broke into a house. Shit shaved showers. Caught watching TV. This is fucking, this is a crazy story, dude. Seriously. He fed the cats, prepared meal, blah, 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 all that good shit. The only problem is Christopher Hiscock, 33, was not at home and didn't know the owners of a ranch where he became a bit too comfortable. The Nova Scottier man. Is that really a place? Oh, I guess. Sco- Nova Scotia? That's it. Scotia. Yeah. Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia, don't you know, eh? No, I don't know. Yeah. Man pleaded guilty Monday to possession of stolen properties, being unlawfully in a drilling house, stemming from a bizarre incident north of Kamloops? Kamloops. I didn't know this place. This is Canada, yeah? Yeah, it's Canada. Yeah, don't you know, eh? You gotta do the Canada, Canada voice, eh? Do you thought I was supposed to be a Scottish accent? No. Scottish is like this. That is exactly what you just did. No. Hey, Nova Scotia. Man pleaded guilty Monday. Possession of stolen property in Nova Scotia. Hey, don't you know? Provincial court heard the residents of a ranch in Little Fort in the Yellowhead Highway. (laughs) What the fuck? They know my place is so weird. (laughs) It's all normal. They're not like you Yanks that just nick everywhere else's. (laughs) They've tried being original. New York and... (laughs) New Jersey, new every... We just put new in front of it. New yeah. Nova Scotia. <laughs> Returned home after a night out last week to find a stranger sitting on their couch with a cup of coffee. Wouldn't that scare she- the shit out of you? Wouldn't that fucking scare you to death, Wayne? If somebody I was don't in know your, what I'd do. Somebody was in your house sitting and watching TV and they're drinking a cup of coffee? Wouldn't you be the like... The nearest thing I had to that once was Christmas... Yeah. Um, we got a life-sized uh, Wiley Coyote, mm. like bendy like a, toy. Like you could actually mold them like proper full-size human. Oh, uh, like a um, like a sort of like a stuffed animal, but with like barb in them. Like yeah, yeah. Okay. That was a Wiley Coyote, and my dad fucked me up because he made him sit in the chair, <laughs> and I went down really early. One, you know, like you do Christmas morning when you're a kid. You know, I went in the living room, and the there was fucking Wiley Coyote sitting in the chair. That would fuck me up a bit, but that's closest I've come to. It. All right, it's a lawyer. Lawyer's talking now from Nova Scotia. Oh no, you're going to want me to do this, uh-huh. isn't you? Uh huh. Right. I don't know how to do it. Was it a bloke or a woman? It's this is a dude. This is Mike Wong. Oh, Mike Wong! This is Mike Wong from Nova Scotia. He's talking for the for the woman. Okay. She found the accused sitting in a uh, watching uh, TV. Uh, 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 uh. Mike Wong. Yeah, but the. They're like Asian faces, but they're not Asian voiced, are they? <laughs> Over there. Based, but not, not Asian voice. But then you have to add a don't you know on to it. Everything's all. Oh, she found a cues in the hall and watching okay. TV, don't you know? Eh? Okay, all right, there we go. <laughs> he started fire in fireplace and prepared a meal, don't you know? 
<laughs> he said he had been driving by the door was open. So he came in, don't you know? His cock had also helped himself to a truck in the Terry. <laughs> no, he stole a truck too. He stole a truck in Arterio on his way to BC Columbia, Court heard. He stole a truck too. Holy fuck. This guy did a lot of stuff. He was busy that day. It was a busy day for this guy. <laughs> if you're going to do it, this do is it fucking, for real, this is fucking crazy. Ah, the accused appeared to have done some laundry. Seems nice. He done some housework. He also fed cats. He put some hay like out for the horses, too. I was going to do a racist comment there. Oh. <laughs> he used the resident's toothbrush and cheva. Oh. He had taken some meat out for freezer to four. And he had written in their diary, don't you know? This is, did this guy lose his mind and just forgot this isn't his house? This is the weirdest thing we've ever read. I'm wait for the bit where it says he smears feces up the wall. <laughs> the you know that's coming. This is my house. I claim this with my feces. <laughs> Oh my god, this is bad. This is what you wrote in the diary. Today was my first full day at the ranch. I fed the cats, horses, so much I can do here. I have to remind myself just to relax and take my time. He lost his mind. He lost. Keep reading, keep reading. I don't feel alone here. I guess with two cats and three horses, it's kind of hard to be alone. Last night, I had a fire in the house. It was so peaceful, I slept like a little baby. This guy is fucking crazy. Keep going. I, I saw a picture in the basement on the wall of a man holding and weighing a fish on a boat. Looking at him, I realized we look a lot alike. <laughs> But I think I'm more handsome. <laughs> he, he's lost his mind. He's fucking... Cr this guy is cray-cray. The residents flagged down a passing police vehicle. A and his passing cop was taken in the custody. A passing police vehicle? How do you find a passing police vehicle? <laughs> in fucking British Columbia. <laughs> oh, my God. His cock's journey to BC started in his home province of North Scotia. What was that? Nova Scotia. Nova, Nova Scotia. I can't get that scrotum that looks like now. Nova Scotia to salute stay Mary. Well done. Earlier this month, Kurt heard he drove his car from North Nova Scotia. There we go. Where he stole a truck and headed west. <laughs> I saw a picture in no, the you already, basement. You already read that. Fuck's sake. I hate this fucking article because <laughs> I keep putting like links to other stories and quotes for no reason <laughs> mid sentence. <laughs> The stolen truck, which went missing on September 16th, was found in a little fort property. So he, wa he walked to the house. He, he, he dropped the truck off and walked to the house. Well, yeah, he didn't want to the get ranch. caught, bless him. He's got a bit of sense. Mm -hmm. Defence lawyer Sheldon Tate said Hiscock had been working sensationally for a swimming pool company, but sensing he'd be laid off, decided to travel west in search of work. <laughs> and take somebody's house. <laughs> He quickly found... Oh, sorry, this is an accent yep. now. He quickly found that his funds were less than adequate that led him to using the vehicle for um, the place he stole it from. Salt Saint Marie. Can't do these fucking places. I could have a better go at Asian places than this. <laughs> Just get out of here. Tate said, By the time he got to BC, you can imagine he was without any funds at all. And he saw an unoccupied home. Not his home, just an unoccupied one. With cats and horses. It's so unoccupied. You have to feed a horse every day. You can't just not exactly. feed a horse. <laughs> His cock, who has no prior criminal record, certainly got one now, apologized in court. I made, a, I made a lot of mistakes. There's no real excuses for it. <laughs> He was still beaming about his brief stay at the road. <laughs> it was beautiful ranch. Gorgeous. I was driving and I just turned in. Beautiful place. <laughs> Judge Chris Cleverly placed his cock on a one-year probation term of orders barring him from contacting the residents <laughs> of the ranch. It's a beautiful place. Beautiful place. Because <laughs> they're actually on the fear that he'd go back. He's going to the National Criminal Database. <laughs> yeah. Like a fucking pedophile. He didn't even do anything sexually to the horse. You don't know that bit. Or the cat. I really have nowhere to go now. The woods is a good place, I suppose. There's a lot of fish out there. I feel so. I actually kind of feel sorry for him now. I feel really sorry. That's how they actually finished the story. Oh my god. Oh, that. It's, 
craziest. That's the craziest he thing I've ever heard. That ranch, bless him. That was so. Uh, I want to buy this ranch. He made me want to buy this ranch. It's what, just for yourself. Yeah, and him? describing it, how beautiful it is, and he just just driving, and he turned in. It was so beautiful. He had a nice, peaceful stay with the fireplace, and just crazy. I I want I want to I want to fucking break into this ranch. You ever heard anything so crazy, Wayne? Anything so crazy as that? He's got to be mentally ill. He had to just, after he found out he was losing his job, he had to have just, like, lost his mind, right? Just, like, completely lost his mind. Just, just, well, I'm going to go, I'm going to go west. And well, my mother-in-law was a pain up the arse and she was laid off from co-op. Yeah. That's about it. <laughs> that was the end of that. Mm-hmm. She is just a pain up the arse. So losing your job can do that. Losing your job can make you go crazy. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just, wow. That was, um, that's a different kind of, different kind of a sweet story but also kind of a get the fuck out of my house story i hope that he gets a lot of fish in the woods <laughs> me too i hope he builds his own cabin probably on somebody's property <laughs> would he have naked parties there like you do <laughs> yes would you go to his cabin i would go to his cabin why not he sounds like a nice guy was that one he that picture in the house of a bloke that looked like him with fish what's his obsession with fish i don't know i guess he just like they like to fish up there in canada man they're big fishing place up there, like Florida. Big fishing place. I don't know. Well, let's move on. The name game. Shirley. Shirley, All right, Wayne, we, we may not be playing the name game, but we are playing the a word association game with Wayne. Ladies and gentlemen, this may become a segment um, when Ant's not around, if, I, if it's funny enough. If it's not, then it's an abortion, and I'm, I apologize for wasting your time. I have 20, 20 words, Wayne, 20 words. And you're going to tell me what word goes with this word or what word you first think of. Don't think first about anything. First thing in my head. First yeah. thing in your head. First thing in your head, what do you associate with this? And tell Pressure. Me, I'm actually, my heart is slightly raised. Is it really? Yeah, I don't like being put on the spot. And tell me why. You tell me why. Why, Wayne? Okay. All right, you ready? First word. This is this is get a little anticlimactic. This is get a little bit more climactic than I expected, but I don't expect much of, to come of this segment. But anyway, here please we go. Please keep your expectations low. Yes, please keep your expectations low. Ready, Wayne? Yeah. First word, rainforest. Toilet roll. What? Why toilet roll? I think there was an advert years ago on television. Of of a rainforest and a toilet roll? Yeah, room? like panning over the top. Of the rainforest? Yeah. You sure it's not a cleaning product? No, it was a toilet roll. Thing. Toilet roll of a rain... Okay, all right, all right. Um, Second word, grape. A green glass bottle. What? what? No, come on. That's your first thing you think of? Yep, like wine. Wh- what? Green glass bottle? Yeah, full of wine, but it's the green one. Wh- why? Because I don't like brown glass bottles. <laughs> but why does that remind you of a grape? Because it's wine. Oh, okay. I got, I, oh, I, fucking I hell, fi- man. No, I finally figured that out. I finally figured that out. I don't associate... Uh, anyway. Ready? What do you think of fucking grapes? Food. <laughs> you ready? I suppose so. Icy. Come on, Wayne. Icy. First thing comes to your head. Icy. I think, like, is it Antarctica? Antarctica? Yeah, that's yeah. Like 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 you know, like the like icy mountainy things. Uh Antarctica ice. I don't think it has any mountains. I'm not saying that. I just mean like mountains of ice. Mountains of ice. Yeah. Mountains. I'm not saying Antarctica in fear, I'm just saying is it? I don't know. Um, An- What's uh, an icy place? Antarctica is an icy place? Mountains of ice? No. Not no, mountains, mountains, but like ice mountains, like icebergs? No, no. Antarctica is the one down low. Doesn't have any mountains of ice. Where's mountains of ice? Up north. <laughs> the North, north Pole. Pole. Yeah. <laughs> why why is North and South Pole so different then? I don't know why they're different. Surely they're just cold. Uh, there's no penguins north north, but there's penguins south. Why are they different? I don't know why they're different. I don't know. Can't tell you. Is there like a barbershop sticker either of them? <laughs> I don't, oh, you mean a barbershop pole? 
Yeah. I like, think you know, in the nor- there is a North Pole, and it does exist. They did put a North Pole in the in the North. But the South is so fucking cold, I ain't bothered. I guess so. I don't know. But to be honest, I don't know. I uh, you don't really hear a lot about Antarctica. The only thing I hear about Antarctica is the fact that they always they do a ton of experience down in Antarctica. So which is the one that people walk across? North. Why don't they do south? I, they do do south, but they don't make it a big deal. Like I, I guess it's not a big deal to go south. It's a bigger deal to go north. I don't know why that is, but I guess to, to be on top, they think it's a top and a bottom thing, but technically it's not. It's this it's a spherical thing. Anyway, snow landscape is what I was thinking of. I did I did mountains of ice. Uh, Lucky Charm, Wayne. Lucky Charm. Cereal. Marshmallow. Ah, uh, <laughs> cereal. I think most of us think of cereal when we think I of Lucky Charm. I say they took it away here. No. Years and years ago. A lot of people don't even know what I talk about when Lucky I say Charms? Lucky Charms. Yeah, no, they don't know Lucky Charms? No, they took it away once they said it was the marshmallows are cancerous. It doesn't make you... Th- what? Yeah, the colouring you use in the marshmallows. I've never, uh, cancerous. I've, I've never heard that. Lucky Charms is still around around here. And basically, they said to the company that makes it, you've got to change them. And they said, fuck you, we're not changing anything. And they basically said, right, we're banning your cereal <laughs> from the UK from our trading law. They said, so what we on. have to do now is pay like £7.50 to for a box shipped, of cereal. Shipped over from the US. Yeah, well, like, we have, there's this new fad of stores, like American sweet shops, so you can get uh, all American fizzy and cereals all the stuff that's been fucking banned over here Legit. because your colorings and preservatives are and so because, fucking bad because you guys are a socialist country now evidently. yeah you've banned our jelly babies why um i i don't think it has anything to do with you guys i think it has something to do with actually the um well, well no it's not the personal thing no no i think it's a europe <laughs> i think it's a i think it's the uk government won't ship them to us really yeah i don't think it has i've tried to get jelly babies i can't get them but i don't think it has anything to do, to do with the u.s yeah, I get them. I've gotten them every once in a while. Like, um, my buddy um, Jamie and I will go. To, we'll try to find a British store, and every once in a while, we'll find one in Atlanta that's been around for up. It's usually up a little bit, and then it's and then it just closes because it doesn't survive. But we'll, sometimes we'll find them. But then sometimes his mom will send us some jelly babies. That's weird. Um, you ready for number five? Yeah, why not? Telescope. First thing, telescope. <laughs> what? Oh, I've got it in my head, but I can't say the word. Um, what do not pedophile. Um, Perv- uh, 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 pervert. Uh, no, yeah. peeping Tom. Yes. Peeping Tom. Yes. Why Why does that remind you? That's the only reason they're used in a, in a normal house. That is not you're true. you're a science person. That, I, I would, I'm going to own a telescope and put it yeah, in Yeah, and I, you're never going to look into someone I, else's house. Fuck off. I didn't say that. I didn't see There we go. <laughs> Peep and Tom. Done. Radio station. Is this the next one? Yeah, radio station. Well, you need to fucking tell oh, me. Oh, sorry. Radio station. Stop thinking. Just just say it. Radio station. Radio One Road Show, which is a really old thing where it used to tour once a year. Road show? Yeah. Why? Radio One used to do a road show. Like, basically, they used to tour around all the British did beaches. You, did you always want to be on it? Is that what it is? I come to Yarmouth once I went to. Oh, so they threw like a big party when they wherever they went. Yeah, like festival where they toured. Gotcha. Oh, and they got obviously fun. the bands that the played bands their the station. And gotcha. stuff. Oh, that's like fun. Um, number seven, butterscotch. First thing. Really disappointing, Angel Delight. <laughs> Dis- disappointing. <laughs> disappointing. You have Angel Delight over there? No, Angel. It's it's Delight? like powder that you mixed with milk and it thickened up, and you just used to eat it. But it it had it had a butterscotch. There's flavour. You could have strawberry angel delight, chocolate angel delight, butterscotch. Oh, oh, so it's like um, it's just thick milk. Yeah. Okay. So it's like uh, oh god, what do they call that with the rabbit, the fucking rabbit. Um, is it you? So you who? I don't know. Type it in the Google. You'll see what I mean. It's mm. like weird slodgy stuff. Angel delight. Is it you? That was always butterscotch I got at home, and that was like, oh, I don't oh, fucking want butterscotch. That doesn't look good. It's all right. I like it. Angel Delight. Sort USA. of thing Ant would shit on. This is probably the sort of thing sh- Ant shits out, to be honest. Oh, there's a Brit superstore in the USA that I can order stuff through. Angel Delight chocolate. Angel Delight butterscotch. Angel Delight strawberry. Angel Delight banana. Yeah, it reminds me of, um, not Yoo but um, I forgot what it's called. It's a uh, anyway. You mix it with milk, and it makes it makes milk taste better. Ready? Yeah. Number eight. Boutique of what? Boutique of. Oh, sorry. Bouquet of. Oh, for fuck's sake! Sorry. 
I apologize. <laughs> Bou- bouquet of flowers. Okay, I figured that one would be easy. But uh, ready for the next one? You sort of half done the work, didn't you? Is there yeah. anything other than a bouquet of flowers? Is there a bouquet of something you, else? Yeah, you can have a bouquet of pretty much anything. What football boots? I don't know about that, but you can have a bouquet of knives. You can have a bouquet of. Um, I've bought you a bouquet of knives. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's necessarily what you would buy someone, but you can have a bouquet of whatever you want. Here, let me. Valentine's Day soon. It's not that soon. Why does everybody make such a big deal about fucking Valentine's Day? I can't stand Valentine's Day. I've been so lucky. I hate it. Not it's having... coming up soon, so you can buy a special one that you want to get in the pants of a bouquet of knives. Bouquet of roses, sunflowers. That's flowers. I know. That's both flowers. I know. I'm trying to find out what else. Oh, yeah. Oh, something oh, a bouquet of barbed wire. It's, it was a television series in 1969. UK, British television series. Bouquet, bouquet of barbed, barbed wire. wire. Yep. Never heard of it. Anyway. I don't think there's any fear that's going to be on Netflix. Um, Paul McDonald lyric. Bouquet of lies. Bouquet of weeds. That's flowers again. Bouquet of size chart. I don't know what that makes any sense. Anyway, that's all the bouquet that I can find. Um, boiled number nine. Boiled ham. Ham. Why yep. boil? What? Why? Why boiled ham? You can't boil ham. Yeah, because you fucking do gammon. What gammon? Yeah, ham joint. Boiled ham. Yeah. Boiled ham. That sounds disgusting. It's not. It's fucking lovely and salty ham. and lovely. And I used remember when I kept boiling ham in Dr Pepper. Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. You remember that? Hang I had a fit of it last year. Place the every week ham boiling ham, ham in Dr Pepper with the onions, cloves, peppercorns, and bay leaves. Cover with water. Bring to boil and skim away the impurities. Leave the ham to simmer, allowing twenty minutes. That sounds disgusting. No, it's not. It's, it's such lovely, a British yeah. thing to boil ham. I'm looking oh, at you recipes. do it, Dr. Pepper it's or so Coke British. and it goes sweet. It's so British. Boiled ham, Britain, 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 Britain. That's all I'm saying. UK, UK, Britain, 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 Britain. That sounds disgusting. Put Dr. Pepper boiled ham in. No, I don't need to. Thank you. Uh, ready for number Eat number 10? Halfway you through. Lived. Ready? You ain't lived. Pottery. Pottery, Wayne. What do you first think of pottery? Pottery. Flower pot. What? Flower pot? You know, little red terracotta flower pots. That's what you think of pottery? Yeah. And the, the actual picture I got in my head was a broken one. I don't know what that means. Broken flower. Ooh. I don't broken. know. I must have some sort of fucking mental issue. Broken I've flower pot. Had as a kid that or sounds very um, artistic, Wayne. Broken flower pot. No, I just think scummy home. You know, when you used to go around your friend's house <laughs> yeah, and they're a bit and that's scummy and there was always a broken flower pot. It's always that scary kid you don't want to do. It's like, with. oh, just fucking throw it away. <laughs> yeah. Why you kept it in your garden for? <laughs> you ready for number 11? Yeah. Youngster. Youngster Wayne. That's a minute of silence right there, ladies and gentlemen. Minute of silence you're never going to hear. Youngster it's Wayne, not, come on. First, come on. Don't, I thought Young Ones, the TV show from like the 80s. Young Ones, the TV show? Yeah. You need to respond to these faster. Do I, do I get ones, something in my hand? I think, TV no, that can't show. be the first one, but I suppose that is the first That's one. That's what I want you to do. The first thing that pops into your head when I say the word vanilla. Vanilla? Yes. Vanilla. Ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah, that's 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 normal, I think. Ice cream, that's normal. Ready for your 13? I always hated vanilla ice cream as a kid, but Why? actually grown to be probably one of my favorite flavors. What Proper type? vanilla one, not fake vanilla. Do you guys have Briars over there? Do you guys have Briars ice cream over there? Oh, Briars ice cream has the best vanilla. It uses real vanilla bean in, in its ice cream. Oh, it's uh, it's got to be the vanilla where you get the black pods in. Yeah, the that's, the, that's the vanilla bean. That's Briars right there. Yeah, no, that's Hagen does. Hagen does. Uh, you ready for your number 13? Yeah. Lock, lock. Lock. I think door handle. Door handle? Yeah. What type of door handle? Not a, for some reason, a living like, room door handle. I was handle, about to say, you're, you're, a seeing a, you're seeing a door handle. What door handle in your head are you seeing? Living room one, but they don't have a lock on. So is, that a, is that a left? <laughs> you're thinking of a door handle without a lock on it? Yeah, that is actually <laughs> what came into my head as soon as you said <laughs> So it has nothing to do with the word. It's just the first. Okay. Here, number 14. Oh, I, was, I quite happily admit I had nothing no, to do with fine. it. That's fine. That's fine. I, I love you it. I love it. the first fucking thing back. Number 14. Upwards. Upwards. Just an arrow pointing up. An arrow, just an arrow pointing up? Yeah, a lot of road sign an arrow. arrow pointing up. Okay. Not very creative. But no. A road sign pointing up. I've never seen an arrow point up, but okay. Other than like on a package or something. 
Uh, number 15, legal. legal. Paper. Really? Like, like legal papers. I would like have yellow, never guessed. Like yellow legal papers. Nine a million years would I have ever guessed if you said paper. I would have said legal. I would have automatically thought you, you would have thought young girl. I swear, I would have been no, like, this just is sort of like, like documents. Yeah, yeah, I got paper. you. Legal paper, I got you. I got you. Um, number sixteen, attire. Clothes. Clothes. Yeah, that's that's pretty normal. Clothes. What type of clothes? Tuxedo. Oh, a tux. Clothes. Tux. Okay. Number seventeen, register. A till. Till. That's 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 being in retail for. Some. Yeah, probably mm. else. Because you could have different. Very Registers, different but they're all the one. yeah, but they're all the same. They all have they all need a till to work. That makes sense. No, you can register someone, can't you? Yeah, but you being in retail, I would automatically think till as well. Oh yeah, because well, yeah. we we're both in retail, so that's what happens. You need a till to run the register first. Number eighteen, frothy. frothy. Coffee. Coffee. Yeah, frothy coffee. What type of coffee? I don't know. What one's the frothy one? What are you thinking of? I don't like coffee that much. What are you envisioning? Frothy coffee. Frothy. Okay, okay. You know, the right. fucking coffee that has like a fucking inch of froth on top of it. Yeah, yeah, most coffee has not If you get it from Starbucks, most coffee has not Well, inch of froth not over it. here. Really? Most of our coffee's just instant shit. From Starbucks? Not from Starbucks. I don't go to fucking coffee shops. Yeah, but I'm sure Claire does, or somebody no, you know does. she can't drink coffee, she goes spastic. Why <laughs> not? something with her. She she's aller- She's the most allergic woman in the world. She she's caffeine intolerant. She drinks. I'm sure I've done this story. She drinks caffeine. It's like alcohol to her. She gets pissed and then has a hangover type thing. <laughs> Probably that like fucks her heart about so much. It's like she's drunk and then when obviously she's coming down, mm-hmm. she gets she all headaches and yeah. shit. Yeah, man. So she's very susceptible to caffeine. Apparently, her ex boyfriend gave her a Red Bull. <laughs> Why would you do that? I know, she's very bitter about that still. <laughs> sure she is. Both of you tend to keep grudges. Number 19, credit. Card. Credit card? Yeah, like a little plastic card. Not a not a, cre- not a score or nothing, just a credit card. What type of credit card? Visa, AMX, American Express? I don't fucking know, just, just a, a card, card. a right. bank card. All right, all right. I didn't look that much detail out of it. All right, number, number 20, last one, squirrel. 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 Is that what you said? Mm-hmm. Squirrel. squirrel. A red squirrel eating a nut. <laughs> red squirrel. <laughs> squirrel eating a... All right. Well, that's it. Wayne, what do you think about all that? You want to hear him back again? I did this wrong, didn't I? No, why? Well, because like, word association should be like, one word back, shouldn't it? No, no, it's fine. You can have multiple words back. I, lo- I looked it up earlier today. I, just, I literally just said what entered my head. Yeah, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. Just a- anything to enter your head. That's fine. Um, so Rainforest, you said toilet roll. <laughs> Grape, you said green glass bottle of wine. Icy, you said mountains of ice. Lucky Charms, you said cereal. Telescope, you said peeping Tom. Radio Station, you said Radio 1 Roadshow. Butterscotch was disappointing Angel Delight. <laughs> that one's probably my favorite. Boutique of was flowers. Boiled was ham. Pottery, broken, broken flower pot, youngster, young ones, the TV show, vanilla, ice cream, lock, door handle, without the lock, <laughs> <laughs> upwards, arrow pointing up, legal, paper, attire, clothes, tux, register, till, frothy, coffee, credit, card, squirrel, red squirrel eating a nut. <laughs> So that was all of Wayne's things. You guys go on the Facebook page and tell us what you did when you, um, I'm going to put this in the rundown sheets. You guys tell us what you thought of on all these and, and let us know. I want Cody to do it properly. I want him to actually go through and do exactly Have somebody that. read it to him and, and do all that good stuff. Actually, all right, yeah, Cody, so if you he posts have... it to us on Facebook or whatever and actually do that. Uh, yeah, either send us an email. Frothy. Send us an email, or you gotta have your um your little 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 girl read it to you and see what see what you come up with, Cody. Um, calling you out, Cody, specifically calling you out, buddy. Maybe we'll play this game with Ant next week, and um, we'll see what happens with that too. Wayne, what'd you learn this week? Well, you can have a bouquet that isn't flowers. You, yeah, bouquet you of barbed wire. Bouquet of knives. <laughs> bouquet of knives. Bouquet of barbed wire, buddy. <laughs> I learned that Wayne. <laughs> Thinks a lot of the same thing when he when he <laughs> when you tell him, <laughs> when you tell him a word he'll he'll think just of the word he doesn't tend to think of something else. 
upwards, an arrow, what? What? Uh, upwards an arrow pointing up. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Credit card. <laughs> Uh, butterscotch, disappointing, angel delight. That's my favorite. That's my favorite among them all. <laughs> Something sad and disappointing. I thought more of them been, would have been that. But um, if you guys want to join in, it's cerebralsatire.com or um, facebook.com slash cerebralsatire. Please share us and rate us wherever you listen. Tell a friend, tell a coworker, tell a sibling, tell a mom, tell a dad that can stand cursing. This is I probably can't our list. Because I'll get sacked. Yeah, me too. This will probably be our, our uh, least cursing episode, I think, without Anne being here. I think so. I don't think we cursed that much, did we? Uh, I saw a couple times during the feminist thing. <laughs> well, yeah, a couple times, but I mean, it was pretty. It's pretty decent swearing ratio. I think it was pretty good. But um, say goodbye, Wayne. Bye, Wayne. Goodbye, Wayne. Have a great week, everybody. That was Wayne. I'm Chris. Enjoy your enjoy your week. Enjoy your weekend. Bye from Cerebral Satire, and we'll be back with us next week. So this is the last season of Mythbusters, Wayne. I saw it on Netflix, not the actual show, but that was on Netflix the other day. I was tempted to put it on. It's good. I love Mythbusters, man. I was like tearing up last night watching. I saw, I saw something about him crying yeah, or something. Yeah, it's, it's just sad. It's something that I, that reminds me of my dad when I watch it. I don't is get it to see literally my dad a much. show where they have scientific theories and they prove them or disprove them? Yeah, it's not even scientific theories. It's, it's okay, um... Let's say one of the things sometimes they hit is uh, some some things they do is like cerebral stuff like um not cerebral why did I say cerebral uh internet <laughs> stuff um, internet stuff so like um is this inter- internet video true so they try to prove if it's true scientifically true right so is it like one per episode or um, several on the earlier episodes it depends on the episode but on the earlier shows it's like two per episode but if they're smaller ones they'll do like three or four per show but normally it's two myths per show um Half but i an just hour? uh no an hour uh 40, 40 minutes because it's on netflix so you don't have any yeah. commercials um i just i just this is part of me growing up but they've been on they've been on TV for almost twenty years. I'm like fifteen. Really? Years. Fifteen years they've been on TV. Fifteen years, and I've had it playing on my TV for the past seven days. I think almost a week now. Yeah, so and they've been be a lot of series. On, on yeah, yeah. I'm gonna buy the box. I have to buy the box set. I'm gonna buy the box set. How much is that gonna fucking cost? Oh, probably like you know five hundred dollars. But I'm gonna buy it. I'm buying the box set. I've already decade taken myself to. I'm gonna buy the box set. So I told myself I would always buy the box set, and I would just have it on a TV somewhere playing <laughs> in my house somewhere. So why have you got Netflix? Net, it's not all. It's not on. Uh, it's not all of it's not on Netflix. Oh, it's only, it's only some seasons. Yeah, it's just like Top Gear. Oh man, when they took the eighth season of Top Gear off Netflix, oh, I thought I would never, I'd never get back to sleep ever again. <laughs> the episode. Three of season eight is my favorite episode of Top Gear ever. It's the one where they make their um, motorhomes, and Jeremy makes that really tall three-story one. Oh fuck! It's the one of the wind f- get up yes. and everything. It is one of my favorite episodes of Top Gear ever. Ever. I like a lot of episodes of Top. Gear. I like it's most that big of Top old Gear. tall white thing. Yes. Wasn't it? Yes. Yes. It was on top of a Citron. Um and uh, Richard made the the expandable that one green thing where he put <laughs> the fence out. <laughs> yes. And what was James? Why not just like <laughs> got a tab on a like, little wooden, yeah, not wooden tube. thing, but just literally a, a thing on top of yeah, his. Yeah, it looked like a space shuttle. It was a tube. Uh, it was great. I love I love Top Gear to death. And as soon as they get it on Amazon, I'll watch the fuck out of it. But um, it's this uh, MythBusters is just. 
It's from my childhood, and I love it, and it got me interested in science and discovering things. And uh, I just is it real or is it? Yeah, no, it's legit. Everything's real. Everything is real in MythBusters. Everything. Not they, like Top Gear fake. No, no, everything is real in MythBusters. There, they try to scientifically do everything. So um, I really enjoy it. Okay. I just, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it. Is all. I'm going to miss it a lot. So have a great week, everybody. Bye.